said I was going to be banned. <laughs> they were going to ban me for a ban list video. <laughs> uh, you said we're going to get banned. <laughs> it took me like three takes just to do that much. Lord have mercy. I can't stop laughing about that. And we almost hit 900 subscribers. Let's dive on into it, shall we? The ever living boo boo stain off of that subscribe button so that we can get so close to 900 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just dive on into it. Thank you so, so, so much for all the support. It truly does mean a lot to me. In case you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Avery Law32. I got a blunt personality. I'm single and ready to mingle. Bumble really sucks, so we've been trying to get our Ultra Ball catch rate up with subscribers so we can hopefully catch ourselves a girlfriend or shit, catch something at this point. Besides monkeypox, I've heard monkeypox is terrible. <laughs> so smash it so that we can get to our 1,000 subscriber goal. But all that aside, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for all the support. The channel is blowing up like a nuclear bomb right now, and I'm I'm just so appreciative and, you know, uh, just like how I did in the intro of the video, you know, uh, there have been some people saying like, Avery, you're going to get banned for putting out this false information. And that's what I really want this video to be about is just clearing up some things and looking ahead to the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because really the future is looking bright despite not having a balance, which we should soon hopefully have, um, as well as the channel itself. And so the main thing I want to tackle starting off is, is just that like, look, I, I do YouTube as entertainment, you know, for those of you who haven't been around on the channel as long as others, which it's okay if you have, and I appreciate all the support and I appreciate you even just checking out videos. Even if you don't subscribe, I, I love entertaining people and just making people laugh. You know, I was diagnosed with something called VHL, which stands for von Hippelin disease. It's a rare genetic mutation that causes tumors and cysts to form all over the, the body. And uh, luckily all my tumors and cysts are benign, but it is a very rare form of cancer. And I realized when I came back to YouTube a few months ago, I say come back because I've done it like 20,000 freaking different times over a 10 year span, which is why the channel is, haven't really, hasn't really grown. Didn't really know what I was doing until now. Um, and so I'm, I'm on medication for this, uh, the, the tumors and stuff. And, and I realize now, like, I just want to have fun in my life. You know, I've been on medical leave from my full-time job since this past October, almost a year now. And, you know, for a while, I, I always looked at life like, you know, what if I don't wake up tomorrow? What if, you know, the, the cancer takes me out in a year or a month? You know, what if I don't wake up tomorrow? And I just, I realized that I was taking life in some ways just really seriously. And when I came back to YouTube, I really want to be able to have fun. And so I'm not trying to put out false information just by posting a video about, you know, someone sends me an email that allegedly they're a Yu-Gi-Oh employee with allegedly a ban list and allegedly this is what's going to happen. And I, I, that's why I say too in some of my videos, watch the video until the end because clearly a lot of people don't do that because they make comments and things. And, you know, if you just watch the whole video, then you find out what happens. I explain it. So I specifically said it's alleged and take it with a grain of salt. Um, but one comment did sort of stick out to me saying, you're going to get banned if this is false information. And I'm like, you know, I'm posting this video for entertainment, right? I'm not posting this to troll or to lie or to, you know, attack Konami employees. Like, even though I shit on Konami and Master Shits a lot, aka Master Duel, for those of you new to the channel, I refuse to call Master Duel anything except Master Shits until it's a good game, which, spoiler alert, as we like to say on the channel, it never effing will be. Um, what am I doing censoring myself? It never fucking will be. <laughs> I don't know why I censored myself there. I've had a long day. I'm tired. Um, and so, you know, it, Konami could ban me, like, if I threatened employees, right? And that's not what I'm looking to do. If if they were going to ban me for posting a video about an alleged ban list, then they should ban all the other YouTubers that have talked about ban lists and things like that or things that they've heard will happen and things like that. Like, I'm, I'm not going to get banned. I'm okay. You know, there, there were a lot of things that came out of that video, you know, things like uh, people threatening my life, which is why I made that podcast episode saying that my life had been threatened because I was, I was getting threats. I was getting people saying that they were going to come on to my social media pages, like my Facebook and shit, which is like, what the fuck? <laughs> and like harass me and, and bully me. It's like what one person said, I'm like, are you trolling? Or are you like being dead serious? Like, do I need to take this threat seriously? So, and then some like actual more serious threats that I had to report and things like that. Um, 
But look, I'm, I'm just looking to have fun on YouTube. You know, it, it is what it is. In regards to the game as a whole, you know, I feel like we're right around the corner. We're on the cusp of getting a ban list that may ban Mystic Mind, may put it to one, may put it to two. That has been really fucking, like, splitting the community in half, like, big time. I feel like more people in the community agree that Hulk needs to be banned than agreeing that Mystic Mind needs to be banned. Um, which... I've beaten that horse to death. I'm not going to talk about why Mystic Mind deserves to be banned. In case you're wondering what my position is on it, I've played Mystic Mind burn decks. My dad's been playing Mystic Mind burn since it first came out. I've played decks that play Mystic Mind. Look at my 60 card branded double edge deck that I came at 27th place with. Uh, you know, like, I, I feel the card needs to be banned. That's my humble opinion. Am I going to attack you if you say just play the outs? No. Am I going to bust your chops a little bit just to have some fun? Absolutely, because that's what I do on YouTube. I'm not looking to bully nobody. You know, it's it's like with the response videos I've made to people. Like, I made one on JCD Godot, and, like, people said I was attacking him or her, which, whichever, I think it's a, I think he is a she. I apologize. Um, you know, people were saying I was attacking her, and I'm like, I'm not attacking her. I'm making a response video, and I'm having fun making it. Why the fuck do you care? Like, <laughs> why are you so mad? <laughs> it's like the people making threats against me. You don't even know me. Why are you threatening to come to my house? Why are you threatening to harm me? Like, what? I will never understand the human fucking condition of like harassing somebody. It's like, go touch grass. Like go, go hug a tree. Go, go hug your friends. Go hug your mama. Go hug your daddy. Go hug your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Do something with your life. Go get a job. Like go help out at, at the soup kitchen or something. Go to church. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, Lord have mercy. Do something with your life, bro. Like what, like what? If I go to a regional and you see me there, like, are you going to like go punch me in the face? Like real talk? Like, no, you ain't going to do that. The judge is going to ban your ass. Like real talk. And I do want to say as well, if you are going to be at the Boca Raton uh, regional in Florida, I am definitely going. That's going to be on September 10th. So if you're there, feel free to come up, say hi, shake my hand, tell me that you like the content. Like that's the main thing I'm looking forward to, this, especially now that the channel's really blowing up. Like, you know, ever since I got diagnosed with this VHL cancer stuff a couple of years ago, you know, it's been a hard journey. It's been tough. And to now finally feel like I'm in a place mentally, more now than even just a day or two ago, to see like the love and support on the channel and like really go at this because I have more time since I'm on medical leave from the television news station I was working at here in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Um, you know, it, it feels great to have the something to put my my mind into, you know, along with working a part time job, of course, to help pay my my bills and things because cancer bills are expensive AF. <laughs> um, it's it's awesome to be able to put my my heart and my soul into this channel and build it and create something and just foster a positive community. You know, make jokes. You know, I, I said in my podcast episode the other day, if I can you know, take you away from the stress of your day for at least a couple minutes. Like I, I've done my job. Like, you know, it, it's, it's hard to explain living with cancer until you have it. And to have days where you wake up afraid that, you know, today's going to be your last day here. You know, what if, what if I'm gone in a year? What if I'm gone in a month? What if I'm gone in 10 freaking years? Like I realized that there are just things in life that you have to just let go. And I would rather focus on entertaining people. I would rather focus on my hobby of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I'd rather focus on all of these other things than uh, a diagnosis that may not even affect me throughout my life. And if if people want to come on here and be positive, absolutely, you know, it's uh, jo join the club, bro. That's what it's about. If you want to come on here and give constructive criticism, you know, I'm all for that. Obviously not threatening my life. That would be much appreciative. <laughs> um, and, and even like with the balance video, you know, people are saying it's fake as hell. You know what? It's fake as hell. Hulk's not even fucking banned. I didn't even think about that when I was making the video because I, I, I studied that email for a good 30 minutes before I posted the video and didn't even think about Hulk. So we take the L on that one, I guess. <laughs> but I enjoyed making the video. It was fun entertainment. You know, it's it's like Christmas. You know, it's like, is this the balance? No. Is this the balance? Maybe. Someone says they've got the spice. Someone says that, that this person has the spice. Like, you know, my uncle's dad's father's brother twice removed who went to rehab for six months says he's got the fucking man list. Like, it's fun. Like, it's it's cool, bro. So, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is looking bright, though. We are on the cusp of a ban list. Once that comes out, depending on what gets it, it's going to have a nice little, I would say, soft reset on the format. We're going to see things change a little bit, and it's, it's going to be exciting. It's just a matter of getting there so that we can finally 
have that reset, you know, sooner rather than later, Konami. So, guys, please, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again so much for all the support. We're so close to 900. I, I feel like within the next couple of days, we're going to be at over 900, and I'll be able to say so we can climb to the 1K ladder. I feel like that's what I'll be saying once we hit 900. Guys, thank you for watching. I love you very much, and I will see you in the next video.